Congratulations on purchasing your Rambo bike. We know you're eager to hit the trails on your new e-bike, so let's get you started with the assembly so you can be on your way. Here is the box your Rambo bike will come in. Inside, you'll find two smaller boxes, one containing your battery, the other containing your charger, keys, pedals, extra bolts and washers, and the bag containing the tools you'll need to assemble your Rambo bike. The first step will be to remove the bike from the box and proceed to remove the packaging material from the bike. If your bike does happen to come with the battery attached to the bike, be sure to remove it during the initial assembly or any time you're doing work to your Rambo bike for safety. If you don't have a bike stand, we recommend using the edge of the Rambo box to hold your bike upright. The next step is attaching your handlebars. Start by removing the handlebar clamp at the top of the stem with a 5mm Allen wrench. Place the handlebars into the stem and then replace the clamp and use your 5mm Allen wrench to tighten the bolts down. You'll want to do this in a cross pattern to ensure equal spacing between the top and bottom of the clamp. For the seat post, you'll want to add some general purpose grease. Start by removing the seat post and add some lubrication to the inside of the seat post tube. After applying, you can reinsert the seat post and you'll want to make sure it's tightened enough so it doesn't turn from side to side. We recommend installing the front fender before installing the front tire. Start by undoing the bolt with a 5mm Allen wrench and a 10mm open-ended wrench. Then place the fender in front of the forks along with the headlight and reinsert the bolt into the frame. You can then tighten down the bolt with a 5mm Allen wrench and a 10mm open-ended wrench. You can then use the extra bolts and washers provided to attach the front fender to the forks. Towards the bottom, slide the fender mounts to the outside of the forks and use a 4mm Allen wrench to tighten the bolts in place on both sides of the forks. Be sure to reattach any cables that may have been disconnected. Next, you'll want to rotate the LCD screen downwards. You may need to use a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to loosen it slightly. This is to protect the screen when you flip the bike upside down to attach the front tire. Start by removing the base plate. You can do this by loosening the bolts on either side of the fork with a 16 millimeter wrench. And then be sure to remove the plastic piece between the base caliper and then removing the plastic cap from the front tire. You can then loosen the axle nuts on both sides of the wheel and then slide the front wheel in between the front forks. Be sure the washers are located on the outside of the forks when inserting the wheel and then also make sure you're aligning the brake rotor between the pads and the caliper. You can then hand tighten the bolts on both sides of the tire and use a 16 mm open-ended wrench to tighten them the rest of the way down. Next you'll be attaching the pedals which you can retrieve from the box you had earlier. You'll see that the pedals are marked left and right. This this is important because the left pedal is reverse threaded. Start by adding lubrication to the right crank arm, and then insert the right pedal into the crank arm and rotate it clockwise to tighten. Then use a 15mm wrench to tighten it the rest of the way down. You can then repeat these steps for the left pedal except rotating it counterclockwise to tighten. You'll want to ensure that the handlebars are tightened. To do this, stand over the front tire holding it between your legs and try to rotate the handlebars from side to side. If they move independently from the tire, you can then tighten the two bolts down on either side of the stem with a 5mm Allen wrench. You can now rotate your LCD screen back into its position and tighten it down with a 2.5mm Allen wrench. After completing a full assembly and your battery is fully charged, you can then reattach your battery to your bike. You are now ready to head out on your first ride with your Rambo bike. We do recommend watching our quick before you ride video. It will quickly show you some tips and tricks on how to correctly operate your Rambo bike before for your first ride. Congratulations again on purchasing your Rambo bike. Be sure to follow and tag us on social media with your Rambo experiences.